Roberta, I mean Lana. <laughs> yes, playing Lana, Roberta Orlandi. I mean, I started talking about Lana like nine years ago. <laughs> I went in, I was in New York at that time, and I remember meeting Peter Wake, who had this script, um, had another title, The Slice of Pie, <clears throat> and I auditioned for him. He went back to Seattle and then he um, mailed me the script. I read the whole script and I just loved it right away. Right away. I didn't know why at the beginning. And uh, then what happened, yeah, it was about eight, nine years ago, something like that. What happened is that the movie, it wasn't made at that point, at that, when it was supposed to, like eight years ago, for some reason it felt apart, um, Peter wasn't able to do it. Um, but then I was called now about a couple of months ago about it, and um, here we are. I can say that the main core of the character is like this huge need for love. and. Uh, um, that's why probably what, what I liked about her, I mean, the, the constant filling up, trying to fill up this void, which any of us, you know, we can connect to that, I think, at different levels. And I like the way she, uh, she does that. Like a pretty normal life, every day, you know, teacher going to school every day, is in the same town same place every day and she works really hard towards trying to fulfill her life like the way she does it is like make fun make colors 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 have fun uh, giving a lot to her children making a lesson interesting and fun so I think she's constantly like trying to fill up that void that she feels um, when she goes back home and she doesn't know what that is she's she does it subconsciously and like she gets these little cute numbers with her husband she's trying you know to make the relationship work and and she does it because she knows that he likes it you know that but that void is so was there and um, also another element of her it's like um, she cannot, she's not able in her relationship uh, to have children and that's a big, big thing for her uh, because being married with book after eight, nine years as a woman, not having a child, I mean, that's a big problem that for her. I don't think that that's the real problem she has, but she thinks that probably her life would be happier with a child I mean to fulfill again that void you know how all the time in our lives we go and search for something outside ourselves the husband leaves is like uh, everything falls apart it's like she she's totally lost totally lost I didn't expect that feeling to be you know I never been married and I never lived with anyone so it's like I, uh, I get to explore that and I didn't expect to be that strong that feeling mm. um, you married your first love, you know, or you married somebody else, you still, because it's gonna change, even if you marry your first love, then with time it's gonna change, it's gonna become something else, right? Mm -hmm. So, and they still get this, um, when I talk with them, they have this fantasy about love. So it's like, I think we kind of like have this longing of that, that we want something to take us and take away from our you know practical problems everyday life and take away from forever and we want that that emotion to last forever which is impossible and we just want to repeat that over and over but we actually did experience it only when we were 17 18 because we were like uh, virgins that way you know we were innocent and we lost that so there is this 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 you know, it's like when she sees Marty again, for that moment, she is back in her 17. Everything stops. She forgets about her life as of today because the perception, because the, <clears throat> the memory of that kind of perception. And I, that's why I found it very interesting, you know. I mean, we're human.
That's what I, I, I really like about the script, is like the humanity of those characters. You can't judge them, judge them really, even though they're hurting each other, but the humanity, the human. So no matter how hard we try to, you know, with what we have, and make the right decision and make it work, and, and the struggle, no matter, it's just there is that something that comes along, and we don't know how to deal with it, that we may hurt other people without wanting that, right. you know? Yeah. And it's so human. Um, 